What's up, everybody? This is Dad Tech TV, and today we're talking about eLearn Security's PTS course along with their EJPT cert. Welcome, everyone, to my first YouTube video. I'm going to jump right into the review on eLearn Security's beginner course called Penetration Testing Student along with their certification from this course called the EJPT or the Junior Penetration Testing Certificate. This is a hacker course or I guess better terminology nowadays is a penetration tester course and what they label their course as is the first step toward becoming a penetration tester which gives you the most important basics to get you involved in penetration testing. So who am I? Well, I'm the dad tech. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a father and interested in the tech community as a whole. Um, I did go to school for tech and have worked in the tech industry for over 15 years. I've worked um, everywhere from endpoints to system administration, system engineer, network administration, virtualization, cloud. I've done some programming. I've worked with HA and DR planning, BI work, ITIL working with processes and most recently I'm in management or more leading teams and I'm becoming more business focused uh, working in line with operations and anywhere in IT nowadays you know that security is a very hot topic hacking or penetration testing as they call it has always been a very fascinating subject for me but when I was younger there was never a legal <laughs> path to do that um, now, as I'm older, it's nice to see that it's becoming a actual, like a real way to make make a living. So while security is a big part of my everyday, penetration testing right now is more of a hobby for me, and it gives me an understanding of attacks that I can then bring back into my real world job. So getting to the web page from eLearn Security, this is their main web page. I'm not going to go deep into everything on their web page. I'm just going to give you a quick overview and then give you a review of the course. But from here, we're going to click on courses and we're talking about what they call their penetration testing student course, which you can find right here. And this is going to give you a quick overview of everything that they have. So if you scroll down here, you have the whole syllabus. What you're going to want to do, though, is that while you can kind of click on these sections that gives you an overview, you're going to want to actually download the PDF syllabus. The reason you're going to want to do this is because when you scroll down in here, it's going to give you more specific. So it's going to tell you specifically what software they're going to be working with. So you can see right here, Burp Suite, um, you know, it's going to tell you when they're going to go through programming, exactly what they're going to do in programming and software they're going to use. OS fingerprinting, Nmap, which is a huge one right here. So this is going to be a lot uh, better syllabus than just what's on the web page. The PDF is going to be much better. This is a course that utilizes Linux almost 100%, specifically the Kali distribution of Linux. Um, Kali, you can find at Kali.org. It's put out by a company called Offensive Security. So you can go to their webpage also. Um, you're going to want to get the main downloads from Kali.org, though. But Offensive Security is going to give you a little bit more information um, about the company that puts it out. So Kali Linux is a distribution focused on the InfoSec community or the information security community with a majority of the pen testing software pre-installed. So this is specifically for pen testers. Um, offensive security does actually have their own certification called the OSCP. But that's going to be a much, much more highly regarded cert. Um, and you're going to have to work way beyond the EJPT to get to that point. So being that this is a mainly Linux based course. Um, you're going to need to know some basic commands. I'm real big on taking notes. So even though uh, I kind of know all this stuff, I take notes on different commands that were very important for this. And it's not going to go crazy with your Linux knowledge, but you are going to need to be able to get around. So you're going to need to know, especially network commands, things like getting your IP address, routes. Uh, things like that. You're going to have to go through directories and file commands to kind of just get around, look at things, and to then, you know, read text files or edit them. So you're going to need to know like cat and nano. And then, of course, you're going to want to know your help. So dash h, dash dash help, or, you know, the man command to get information on the different 
packages that you will be running with them with, with this course. So I am running Kali here, which you can see. Here's my desktop. This is their logo. Um, this is what the interface looks like for them, their desktop. Going back to my notes now on this course, other tidbits that I have that were good to have were net mask information. So you have your network mask and then you also have your slash notation. Along with that, they'll go through this in the course, but it's all your standard ports. Um, this is a very short list, uh, but it is the most common ports. Web header information uh, when you're running web commands, especially through Burp Suite. And then I took a lot of notes specifically on the tools that they go through and information specific to those along with actual command lines on how to run the command. So as we scroll through here, you're going to see Wireshark, which is going to be great for packet sniffing, uh, Netcat, OpenSSL, Burp Suite, which is going to be a huge tool that you'll use way beyond this course. Uh, this only touches it a little bit, but it'll move on um, as you go through uh, more advanced courses. Nmap is going to be a huge tool, which is great to learn. Uh, Durbuster, Nessus, cross-site scripting may go into SQL injection, and my favorite SQL map, which actually is a utility that takes advantage of SQL injection on sites. Um, John the Ripper, so you're getting into password cracking stuff here. Uh, information about, you know, way to exploit different shares, file shares, and then ARP spoof. Uh, and then, of course, at the end, it gets into Metasploit and Meterpreter. So I started this course back in the end of March and finished it in April. Um, I had a pretty good background, which made me feel very comfortable with the course. I spent about two weeks and two days completing it. And on that last day, I did take the certification test. Um, I was going to go back through all my material. And I said, you want to know what? With the course, you can take the test multiple times. I said, let me just take it and see what happens. I passed. Uh, with two wrongs. So uh, it was a little over two weeks that I did it and I had my EJPT, but I did have a pretty good background. I found this course to be fun. It wasn't something where I was like studying really hard, but I guess that's different for each person. It depends on what your knowledge is, but I thought it was a really fun course. The course is made up of slides that you read through. Um, then you get to watch some videos and then you also have your labs. The slides are very easy to go through. Sometimes you think of people doing presentations with their PowerPoint and how boring it is. But with this, I kind of read through it like a, more like a book than slides, and I thought it worked really well. The videos are great support to those slides, giving you some added tips and also giving you the visuals of how things are done. And then, of course, the labs are really what make this course great. These are giving you labs specific to you. You're not sharing these with anybody else. You have your own dedicated machines and you're able to go on there and actually do exactly what you learned. So all the different commands that you're learning, you can run on those machines um, and they have everything set up for you. This was something where with other things that I've done, whether I've bought books or other courses that I've done, they want you to set up your own lab and that's kind of annoying. You know, it's fun, but it's just so much easier to have them have everything set up for you. And it's also kind of like a real world environment because if you're setting up everything yourself, it's still your own kind of internal network. This is a lot of fun because it's theirs that you're connecting to and you're kind of exploiting their machines. The one negative comment is that they specified the amount of time that you'll be able to use these machines. However, I didn't come anywhere near the limit that they provide, so that may not be that big of a deal. There's also a forum that they provide for all their people that have paid for their courses, um, but I didn't find it very useful. Um, it was a little bit interesting because I found a lot of people that while they were taking the exam, they were actually on there asking questions about how to solve problems or how to run commands and exploit these machines. And of course, there are either, either no replies or, you know, people are just like, hey, we can't take the exam for you. You can't ask that here. So I found that kind of interesting that there were people trying to almost cheat by saying, hey, you know, this isn't working. But it's not that it's not working, that they weren't doing what they were supposed to. So I think that this course is great 
for that guy that has a little bit more knowledge than just going on the internet. I think you need to have a little bit of a preliminary knowledge as far as uh, you know networking or having worked in the industry a little bit, um, and that wants to really learn penetration testing or just has like me, you know, as a hobby, it's a lot of fun to kind of understand how you can exploit systems. And then in turn, even if you're not a penetration tester, but you're still working in the industry, you'll be able to understand how and why people are exploiting systems. And then on the other side of it, you can protect your systems from those attacks. So the different course sections, there's the preliminary scale skills that it starts off in, which gives a great foundation on topics like networking and web applications. It properly lays out the fundamentals of what pen testing is. And I thought it was really good. It's more of a reading, not as much of a hands-on um, until you get later on. So the next section, it moves into programming. Now the programming section, I think it leaves a bit to be desired. It was, to me, it seemed like kind of an extra piece they threw in there just to kind of have a little bit more in the course because programming, if you want to get into it, you're going to really need to focus on one specific language here. They talk about C++ and Python and penetration testing. I think that Python will be important, um, but this doesn't really give you too much with it. With the C++, I also found it interesting because it was the one piece where they started going you know, they were working on a Windows box with a compiler there rather than through Linux. So just for one small piece, you're switching to a Windows box versus your Kali box. And I found that to be a little bit kind of outside of what I was looking to do with this course. And honestly, I didn't really feel like it added to the rest of the training either. Now, the last section, which is the penetration testing, is really where this course shined for me. I think it lays down more than just the basics. Um, you got you saw tools, you saw the tools in my tip sheet. Wireshark, Nmap, which is huge, Burp Suite, Netcat, Durbuster, cross-site scripting information, SQL injection, password cracking, you learn brute force, dictionary attacks, rainbow tables, and then you get into the Metasploit and Meterpreter. And this is really where the course is giving you that bread and butter that you're learning how to actually exploit machines and you're working with their labs and that's that's the best part that i found now the pts the penetration testing student is on v3 and i think that some of the content's getting a little bit old because cali and all the other utilities within cali are constantly updating and because of that, things change. So a lot of their slides don't necessarily match up perfectly with what you're looking at on your screen. Their next level up course, the PTP, which is the Penetration Testing Pro, just got updated. So maybe the PTS might need, maybe not a new version, but maybe a little bit of update to some of their slides. But one thing I'll say about this course is that, I guess with any course, is that you need to really want to do this. You're not going to sign up for this and just watch videos and have it train you. You need to actively read and want to learn and then go into the labs and try everything out. And when it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't, you need to keep trying and go back and read some more. This is much different from a lot of the other training that I've been used to. That's CBT Nuggets, Pluralsight, and Cybrary. Um, but it works, and it worked really well for me. Like I said, two weeks and I was certified. That's not going to be the same for everybody. Some might be able to do it quicker. Some, it might take longer. And that's fine. But it is a really good course. I just had a lot of fun with their labs. And the exam was, for me, was more of kind of like a game than a certification. Because you're going into an actual environment and saying, okay, I'm going to map this whole environment out. And then I'm going to see where I can exploit it. This course and this cert is not going to make anybody an expert penetration tester. You're not going to go out and get a job really from this cert, but it's going to lay that foundation so that you can take the next steps if this is the career path for you. Or even just a fun hobby, it's going to give you that basis to now even learn more. Or just to understand some of the stuff that you might be seeing on YouTube, watching some of the guys like Ipsec do, um, and some of the other big names out there. So things that you see on YouTube, a lot of people are going to sites like Hack the Box or Vulnhub. 
I don't think that this course is going to give you the skills to go in and start hacking all those boxes. Like I said, you're going to understand when other people talk about what they're doing on those systems. But I think you're going to need to take the next step before you really get into a lot of those boxes there. Um, you're going to have a good understanding, but this is just a first step. So if you've been thinking about taking the PTS and going for the EJPT, my suggestion is just go for it. It's well worth it. I think you're going to have a great time doing it if this is something that you're interested in. PTP, which is going to be, I'm going to show you on the web page right here as I scroll up. The Penetration Testing Pro is going to be the next course kind of in their lineup. So it's the next step forward. And they actually just updated this to V5. They had a very special pricing when they launched this, and I was lucky to kind of be around when the launch happened. So I took advantage of this and I did sign up for the PTP. So hopefully um, you're going to see more videos from me. In my path to getting the ECPPT, which is the next cert from taking the Penetration Testing Pro V5 course. So if you like this content, please click subscribe. Thanks for listening.